Welcome to the Snake Pit. What's up, y'all? Thanks for joining me back on my channel. Been a couple weeks. I need to throw out this vid. Stay tuned for my next vid because I need to do, or I'm going to do some type of giveaway. I'll probably have like two, you know, a prize one, prize two pack type of thing. And the reason why it's been a while since I've gave back um, to all you out there watching me. Thanks for that. Uh, getting close to 10,000 quote air quote subscribers you know it's a cool number but in reality I mean what does it mean when I look at the analytics less than 10 percent of my actual subscribers watch the videos so ooh, hopefully YouTube doesn't catch on to that <laughs> of course it's fleeting I mean I could my I could lose my channel at any time just like Hornet Fixer did you never know on YouTube right but uh, main thing is for those of you that do watch and comment I appreciate that so I'll stay tuned for the next fit I don't want to spoil anything but uh, there will be a giveaway and what's been going on with me the last couple weeks not much working mainly oh I got some uh, bow stuff to show you here in a sec uh, stay if you want to stick with the video I'll uh, go over to the workbench show you what's going on there um, VA has had its way with me that kind of slowed me down the last couple weeks uh, two spots on right arm, two spots on left arm. Cut uh, an objects or objects out, and we'll send them to biopsy. But it's going to come back. It's going to be those fat tumors, lipoma, I think it's called. I've had those taken out before, so I'm not worried about it at all. Just a little bit of an inconvenience, especially uh, the spot right here, man. That thing was getting big and it hurt. Kind of gross. I don't know why I get those, but um, anyway. Let's go check out this bow. All right, so this is what I've been up to on my free time here. <laughs> if you remember from my last vid, got my used the Hoyt Ultratech bow here. Needed to replace the string and cables. Did that, ordered some 60X string and cable set, put them on. I mean, they fit perfectly. I did uh, build this little bow cradle because I don't have a bow press. Those things are expensive. What I do have is one of these ram products ratchet lock bow presses and that's what i used to put them on it worked fine you just got to be careful with that ratcheting system i'll give you an up close uh, look at this little project here i still need to um, what i want to do with this little cradle is i'm going to line it with some felt and probably um i don't know maybe in the future i might actually split it i'll cut it here and here and make it two separate pieces because it fits my bow perfectly, and that's what I did. But when I tried my uh, daughter's bow in it, it was just a—it was about that far too long to uh, cradle it. So I think that'll work. It'll—it'll it'll be uh, split, so it'll be adjustable and still be pretty stable, I think. So that's what I've been up to. I'll show you a little bit of close-up to it. All right, just a little close-up of it. I use just the scrap wood that I have on hand. So I didn't really do a how-to vid, but you can kind of see what's going on there. Pretty simple. Anyone can do this out of scrap lumber that you have out there. I'm not a uh, woodworker by any means. PopQuest probably cringing if he watches this, but I smoothed out the edges. I'll say that. So it works fine. It cradles the uh, bow pretty good for my situation. Yeah, use bow project. When I'm done with this, I'm going to add up how much money I'm spending on this thing because if you see over here, yeah, I got a whisker biscuit over there. Go ahead and slam me if you want, but unfortunately the drop away rest that was on this used bow, it was actually broken. There's, there's a piece missing, and I haven't been able to locate that piece. It's an old, old drop away rest, so I'm just going to throw a whisker biscuit on there because my goal is to just shoot some targets with this, have some some fun out there type of thing with this old bow but I will I will be adding up I'm trying to keep it on a budget so I'm gonna add up how much I've had to put into this used bow and see if it's even worth you know doing a used bow versus a brand new hotness that type of thing and I, I think I'm still gonna come out just fine alright so that's what I've been up to lately what have you been up to lately <laughs> leave your comments down below keep them classy of course Stay tuned for my next vid. It'll be that giveaway vid. I'll throw out all the details, see what's going on there. And make some videos if you haven't. You know, get into this YouTube thing and 
gosh, Pops Quest, what the heck is going on? Where are your videos at? You're freaking me out, dude. Boom.